Welcome to Fish Camp 2021. Um, I got a lot of work ahead of me. I got a trailer over here. We'll take a look at it real quick. Drift boat here. I'm going to put up a wall tent over there. We'll take a quick look and then um, we'll kind of do a time lapse of what's going on with it. And then I'll also give directions as I go along or what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. Just so in the end it makes sense. So I was down here earlier this week, did a couple days of fishing. I posted those um, videos on YouTube toward the end of July. Um, I left my drift boat here and I went back and got my trailer. And in my trailer, I have all the goodies that I'm gonna put in this camp. Right here in front of us, I'm gonna put a big wall tent. Um, and I'll show some directions as I go through or why I'm doing things a certain way and then people can look at it and say Well, that's the dumbest way ever um, And I'll also do a time-lapse of it just so people can see it get set up um, It's gonna be a big chore. I got um, company coming down tonight And so it's important to get set. so the first thing I'm going to do is this Footprint is exactly the size of my wall tent. So I'm going to drag it around and find what where I want my tent to be set up where it looks like it's the levelest pointing the direction I want it to be pointing I think I want the front pointing toward the lake so in the morning when I open it I can look at the lake or in the evening when I look out I can look at the lake so that's gonna so be what I've point. done now is I've divided my poles up these three poles and those three poles on the other side over here are the leg poles it'll go vertical and hold it up um, if you'll notice this has got pink tape on it here and pink tape on it there we put that on there to denote that those were side po side poles and this one here has no tape on it so that's the middle one these angles here are different than these angles here so those are not interchangeable and then I divided this into two piles I have longer ones that have double ends on them and shorter ones that only have one end on them and one short one goes with one long one and that becomes the pole that goes from here to there or like the raft see i have the frame the top of the frame up but not the legs i have the wall tent stretched along here this is the door side and i can tell that because there's screen there and now i have to get the wall tent over this and it'll bu you'll bundle up the um, sides just on the ground here but i want to get the whole roof put over the thing and then um then it'll get weird because i'm gonna somehow have to get it up by myself okay i got the tent over the frame and this is where the ridge pole goes so it's got a hole so you could put a ridge pole through there and it's got a flap so you can cover it up that way it'll keep some of the bugs out and i'm gonna need a tie off on that so i've put a bowl in on that and i've done the same thing to the other side and now comes the weird part. I'm going to try to get this thing put up with just one person. And so we'll see how that goes. Well, that actually went surprisingly easier than I thought it would. Um, and so, so far, it's all up. That's not the end of the work yet, though. You can see, it's, it's kind of ready to go. And so next what we're going to do is at the bottom of these walls there's nails that go in you can see the grommet holes like there so we're going to nail the tent down to the ground and then we'll run these guy wires out on both ends and then on the sides as well you can see there's grommet holes here for ropes i got to tie ropes on all those um, so that's gonna be the next step. Okay, we're gonna talk about pounding the tent stake in. See the way that this tent stake is shaped. If you have the wedge side toward it, then it can wedge to the ground. So you want the dish side toward it and you wanna drive it in at this angle. And that way, all the dirt here also holds it. A lot of people drive them in straight and they just have to pull out. This way, they're in an angle, it's harder to pull them out. Actually call that the zombie killer kind of funny when my daughter was just a baby we were camping out and 
we were talking about the zombie killer and um, she couldn't go to sleep that night and she said, well, I'm afraid the zombies are going to get us. And we said, there's no such thing as zombies. She goes, well, if there's no such thing as zombies, how can you have a zombie killer? Pretty good logic. Okay, we got it all staked off and roped down. Let's take a look at the inside. I haven't looked at the inside. I need to put a couple more nails on this side. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to put a rain fly over this because it is supposed to rain in a couple of days and it helps keep the sun from rotting the material because sun's not very good on canvas and um, it also keeps the rain off of it. So we're going to go ahead and put the rain fly on it. Okay, I got the rain fly on. I got it all lined off. And I put a a line on every single grommet on this one just because the wind comes up uh, that's what the wind's really going to get after drove some extra stakes in to the bottom of it to hold it down well um, so we're going to go ahead and start moving furniture in take a look at that when it's done go ahead and put the stove up um, a day like today we don't need the stove but um, when i was just down here like three days ago a stove would have sure been nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up and um, actually I hope I get to use it. And then so the legs, just poke into it like that. gas here and then you put the oven on it we'll take a look at this a little bit later on probably um, and this oven can rotate whatever direction I want it to be just so that it's convenient I kind of like it to the side so you don't have to stand directly in front of it. You can reach it. It's got a thermometer that goes in the front of it. We'll put that together. Fish Camp 2021. I got this trailer here that I can store stuff in, it locks up and whatnot. Got food, coolers. I like to put sleeping bags on top of my coolers just to help them. Um, extra seat for my boat, tents, um, sleeping bags. This is a food locker and whatnot. Got some dip nets in case I go dip netting stove that I can kind of take down here into I call this the cook shack and so um, if it's raining or whatever it's easy to cook here I don't like to cook in my tent because I don't want my tent to end up smelling like um, food and attract bears okay so we'll take a look at this tent you saw me putting up the stove earlier so I got that ready to go got some wood in here table some lights coffee stuff a little bit of artwork my daughter made. You can barely see it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. 
A um, couple of mosquito zappers. I don't know if they work very well or not. A double cot with a sleeping bag on it and a mosquito net over it. One of the tricks to mosquito nets is you want to make sure that it drapes all the way down on the floor, all the way around it, and that way the little guys can't get in there. Sometimes you'll wake up and they'll be all over this net, um, which is kind of freaky. They're staring at you, thinking about lunch, but um, they can't get to you because of the net. Um, wall tents are kind of notorious for, um, you know, not being bug proof. I could fix that a little bit. They're still going to get in there. The sod cloth goes all the way to the ground, even though it looks like it doesn't. Um, but you just can't keep bugs completely from getting in here, so that's nice. A couple of chairs here. Um, let's take one thing we haven't looked at yet. Got a clothesline here. One of the things that we haven't looked at yet is I got this chimney tied up four corners and that way even if the wind blows or whatever it's not going to blow it over um we shouldn't have to worry about sparks although it's been raining on and off and i don't think there's a whole lot to worry about but i have a little chimney cap on top of it that doesn't have a screen in it but when you look at this stove here for um for smoke to get out of here it goes up here and it has to go all the way around this thing this oven is really like a circle of one inch all the way around it so the smoke comes up the bottom and then it has to go all the way around and then up here so you really don't get a whole lot of sparks that are going to come out of that um that chimney and so we're pretty safe there well this year i have set my camp up in a campground there's not a whole lot of camp spots here but one of the nice pleasures about a campground and standing campground is that they do have toilets so this is called a pit toilet underneath this there's a huge concrete basin that all the waste goes into and then they bring pump trucks in and pump it out and so it's clean for the environment basically but it also makes it so that people don't make a total mess around the area and it's convenient for folks so i might not like a campground because you're not as remote and there's a lot more people but this most certainly is a luxury um, take a quick look here it's not total luxury but i've seen a lot worse traffic jam here. Mama Moose is right beside the road. Traffic's all backed up. Hopefully, oh here goes the calf across the road. Going between traffic. See him there? Hopefully there's not another one in the road and it wasn't hit because the traffic's way backed up. That would be sad. things and an extended camp out is the ability to take a shower and wash your clothes so we've come into Saldatna to do just that um, we'll take a look at the facilities real quickly and then um, you'll kind of know one of the tricks I guess to being able to stay out here a long time away from home so the way this works is you sign up for a shower put in your clothes to wash them they call your name you go take a shower throw your clothes in the dryer probably in and out of here an hour and a half hopefully so this is the shower. So I have time to wash my clothes, dry my clothes, take a shower. Um, fish are pretty particular about how you can carry your stuff in terms of uh, being a good fashion place. And so I'm going to give this what I call the river film.
don't miss an adventure, make sure you subscribe.